Hi, I'm Janet Littlewood. I'm a recognised specialist in veterinary dermatology and my topic on this occasion is going to be the bald cat. When um, a cat is presented to the veterinary surgeon uh, with hair loss as the main symptom, um, often owners will be worried that there's some kind of hormonal problem which is stopping the hair growing. But in actual fact, hormonal causes of hair loss in the cat are as rare as hen's teeth. Even if you don't see your cat over grooming and pulling or tugging at the hair and you don't find hairballs around the house, um, by far and away the most common reason for a cat to be bald is that they are over grooming. And your veterinary surgeon will be able to confirm that it's self-induced or self-inflicted hair loss by taking a pluck of hair, examining it under the microscope and in these bald cats what we find is that the hair tips are fractured and blunted and frayed instead of having a normal tapered tip and if you look at the hair roots they're growing absolutely normally so that would confirm that you've got a cat that is mowing itself. Having established that the reason for the cat um, having no hair, um, you then have to ask why. Um, and this presentation is often called feline symmetrical alopecia because for some reason it's very often um, a symmetrical pattern, although it isn't always. And some cats do seem to favour one area of the body over another and I have no idea why that happens, but it does. For these cats that have got self-induced hair loss, the underlying cause is most frequently some type of hypersensitivity disorder. And that would include external, external parasites like flea allergy dermatitis, it would include adverse cutaneous food reactions, and it would include um, allergic reactions to things in the environment, uh, the feline equivalent of, of human atopic eczema. In a very small number of cats, um, there may be a primary underlying psychogenic reason for this. Um, but there have been some nice publications showing that in um, a, a range of cats that were referred for investigation of psychological problems, um, 80 to 90 percent of them actually had underlying skin disease. If you have a stressful uh, issue or factor superimposed on an allergic animal, that can certainly exacerbate their allergy and make um, the overgrooming and the hair loss worse. But pure psychogenic alopecia is actually pretty rare and the bald cat should always be subjected to a proper and thorough investigation of possible underlying skin disease first before committing into psychotropic drugs. So get your cat to your vet and be patient they will want to do investigations which may take quite a long time, but they have your cat's best interest at heart.